for the Sierra Fox Fire Center. Go ahead. This is the nerve center for firefighting activities around Kamloops. These phones haven't stopped ringing since last week. The exhausted people you see here are putting in just as many hours as the firefighters themselves. So a good average would probably be to say that, uh, you know, people have been working uh, anywhere from, uh, you know, 12 to uh, 12 hour days to even longer than that. Sometimes, you know, we're looking at uh, even 15, 16 hour days. Make no mistake, firefighters are putting in long hours too. Firefighters like Adam, who is concentrating on getting smaller fires under control before they have the chance to grow into raging infernos. So we've been able to get out to small little incidental things um, uh, before they gather any size and um, with these trucks that we have it's pretty quick and easy to put water on it, guard it and make sure it's out before it gets too big. Heading out day after grueling day in heavy firefighter gear under a blazing sun can take its toll. Days spent in front of a computer coordinating the firefighting efforts can be grueling too. We do have regulations around how long people may work because uh, we don't want to burn anyone out or you know bring them to a point where they're unable to rest and make the best decisions. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. Um, I think uh, a lot of the time when we're out there, uh, adrenaline keeps us going and just being focused on the task at hand. Um, it isn't until you finish the day and you hop in the truck, you realize how sore your feet are and how sweaty you are and how hungry you are. When you know that at any time you could wind up on the next plane to wherever the next fire may be, adrenaline can be your best friend. Jesse Johnston, CBC News, Kamloops.